welcome to Signing With Us. This episode is all about crimping electric terminals and lugs to cables. If you're never ever going to need to do that, then may I suggest you skip this tutorial. Whether you're installing a bow thruster, electric winch, or even sorting out your engine ignition system, you're probably going to need to crimp a cable at some stage. This is my bow thruster installation from the inside. Almost every joint required a crimp lug of some shape or size. Before starting any electrical installation, especially involving high amperages, you need to make sure you've got the correct cables. Now, installing the bow thruster, it's pulling about 150 amps, so you need some pretty heavy duty cables. This is 50 millimeter square. It's referring to the cross-sectional area of the multi-strand cable inside the sheathing. Now, the crimp lug has numbers written on it, two numbers. The first one on here is uh, 50, which is referring to 50 millimeter cross-section area. The second number is, on this one, number six, actually means six millimeter. So this hole in the middle is for a six millimeter stud. So what I'm gonna do is explain how to crimp a lug properly and maintain its integrity. A little bit tricky with the dodgy left hand, but uh, bear with me and see how it goes on. All right, I've already marked the end of the, um, of the cable. And this cable is tin, so it's very flexible and it's probably about three times the price of normal electric cable, but it won't have the same corrosion issue. Now I've marked the cable with some tape and there's a little telltale hole on the end of the lug here. I don't know if you can just see that there. So when you push the cable in, you can make sure you've gone as deep as you possibly can. So I've allowed an extra millimetre or so on my tape and I like to use a blunt knife and I'll explain why, because the blunt knife won't go through the cable, the copper cable underneath. Once again, if you start to go through the copper cable, you're reducing its conductive area. And if you almost go through and then just keep working it and you'll find that the sheathing will break away and you'll get quite a nice finish. Okay, so we've got a nice square end, the cable sticking through. Now, always make sure you use the right lug for the right cable. It should push on without too much difficulty but on the same hand it should be really slack make sure you've got every single strand of cable in there and just gently push it on and twist at the same time I can feel that's gone home you've got about a millimeter or so gap left on the end which is perfect and if you look inside there you can just see the end of the cable up against the end of the lug now <clears throat> it's well worth borrowing, renting or even buying if you've got lots to do, a proper crimper. It has a scale on the side here and that refers to, let's turn it around so you can read it, that refers to all of the sizes of cable you can crimp with this one. It goes down to 10 millimeters squared up to 120 which is pretty heavy duty. Um, you adjust the, the knurled wheel on the top and so the marker lines up, in this case of course we're using 50 mil, lines up with the scale on the side. And it quite simply works when you push them together, there's a, a pin that comes up and crimps your lug. So always crimp so that the pin comes into the top, I'm using my head here as well because it's all a bit fiddly, so the pin comes into the top of the lug, you can just hold it steady like that and about in the centre. I don't know if you can see that before I squash it. There you go. And so with one action, squeeze down. I might have to stand up, it's, it's quite heavy. Until you can't go down any further. Release it. And that is the crimp done cable still at the end, 
We've got a nice impression there and it's squeezed the sides together. It's really strong. You will not be able to pull that off if it's done properly. Last thing to do to finish it off, and I've already cut a piece, is just to put a little bit of heat shrink. It's not completely uh, necessary, but it makes a better job. And you can just squeeze that up over the end of the cable, like so. And I prefer to use a heat gun while it's warming up I'll tell you. If you can still hear me, if you use uh, a lighter or a gas iron it tends to make a burn. It will shrink it but it tends to make it go black so one of these little uh, paint stripping gun. This one's made by uh, Bosch and uh, only takes seconds to do. You might be able to see it just shrinking down now nicely. And this isn't making a mechanical finish on it, it's just to stop any dirt, ingress, etc. And that, boys and girls, is how to crimp a cable. So, having successfully crimped your lug on, next thing you need to think about is putting double insulation on if it's before the breaker. So the section of cable between the battery and the isolator and breaker or fuse needs to be double insulated. You need to make sure you put this on before you crimp the other end because it won't fit otherwise. Also you need to clip the cable. Uh, I like to use these little rubber lined p-clips. You just put a screw on, screw them onto bulkheads, wherever you need to. Clip them at regular intervals, keep it neat, stops the ca cable from flexing and chafing, causing any damages. And lastly, just want to quickly talk about circuit breakers. I like to use these waterproof ones that have a little flag that pops out when it trips. Easy enough to reset and you can do it in seconds, even in the dark with a torch. The other option of course is to use fuses, but the disadvantage of those, although they're cheaper, disadvantages is a mechanical fix, they're bolted on, hard to change in a boat that's rocking around, so this is always the better option. And the last thing I want to mention is these have lugs on the back, we've already said this is a six mil. Use the manufacturer's recommended torque settings on these, these studs. Uh, don't over tighten or under tighten them. Any, if they become loose they'll get hot and it could cause a fire. So if you follow that sort of rough guideline you'll have a successful installation. Thank you for watching this episode of Sailing With Us. If you enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up. 